the companies aren't integrating into communities, and here's a thought, um, because they don't have to. And, and so if you, we, can, we can turn off the recorder and get a little dark on this, but the companies are not integrating into communities because, A, I can find a better community more suited to my endpoint by, by doing business over here. So I'll just buy a local operation in another country where the culture that satisfies me, little lower regulations, that sort of thing, so I can work with them instead. Locally, I can actually influence local politicians so they change the governance and regulation structures to make me a little more profitable, and it helps out. So I need to get involved in politics to craft the sense of community and self-governance that's a little more favorable to me. And if I can't do that, or diversify the portfolio, I do both. I also will extend some operations globally and move, you know, euros off offshore and start working in other economies that are more conducive to my single corporatist mindset of, you know, return on revenue. So the reason that integrating in communities might be because they don't have to yet. And there are still other ways that I think are not great for the, for the whole, not great for the commons. There are other ways to accomplish their goals without doing that. And so they're seeking their own level. Um, integrating with the community would be a bit of a pioneering mindset. It would be tough to show that would be a profitable path as compared to the proven path of offshoring, you know, outsourcing and co contributing to the local congressmen that'll take care of us. So, I guess I get, <laughs> get dark once in a while, but I think that's part of the answer. Uh, it, well, I mean, it, well, if you think about it, you know, business will do what it has to do. So if it's not integrating the community, it's because it doesn't have to.